I'm Karen Feinerman, and this is your Fast Money Trade School. Feel like you're getting lost at sea in the stock market? One tip to find your way, follow the whales, Wall Street's most powerful investors. These heavy hitters have to disclose their biggest holdings. Just check out a 13F form filed quarterly to see what Buffett or Icon have been buying. But before you dive in head first, remember, even whales can get beached. Class dismissed. I'm a whale watcher. I'm a whale watcher. I'm a whale watcher. Are you? Does this market have you down? Well, then let's do some Wall Street whale watching. Hello, I'm Brian McKeon, partner at the JMB FLP. Today we'll be re reviewing numbers 6 through 10 of my list of the 100 top traders. Today we'll be looking at Renaissance Technology, Chinese Rocket Stocks, Maresh Parabi, Mad Money Buybacks, and Atticus Capital. Now this strategy has done so well for me, it's put me in the top 3% in the most recent CNBC tournament with returns of over 53%. Also you can see how it's done for me in previous tournaments. Now what I merely do is follow the X and the richest most successful investors out there and I find their plays through these free websites. Then I get an average analyst ranking through these sites as well. Now again I'd like to remind you that all analyst recommendations are as of May 1st, 2009. Now first we look at Atticus Capital. Now of all of his holdings in his portfolio that you find on Stock Picker, you can see that he has IMA, Apple, DO, ETR, CNQ, Monsanto, and NSC coming in as moderate buys for this week. Next we go on to Mad Money Buybacks. We have GIS, Hewlett Packard, IBM and Cisco all come in as moderate buys this week. As for Maresh Barabi, you can see all of his holdings that you can find on Stock Picker, and then none of his plays make it into the buy camp this week. As for number seven, Chinese rocket stocks. You have NTES, Sohu, and I think that's Gigamedia coming in as moderate buys. As for number six, Renaissance Technology, you have Bax, AT&T, Johnson & Johnson, Amgen, Coca-Cola, LO, Monsanto, and Pepsi come in as moderate buys for this week. So in review, you can see all the moderate buys, and of course you can see that there are no strong buys at this time. So again, I'd like to remind you that all analyst recommendations are as of May 1st, 2009. And what we merely did was review these following portfolios and got an average analyst ranking through these free websites. So if you'd like to get a more up-to-date reading, you can put these um, guys into Stock Picker and get an average analyst ranking through these sites as well. So again, time for a disclaimer. Disclaimer, I am not a licensed investment advisor and the investments I am showing you today are what I'm doing for my friends and family's accounts. And I am not affiliated with any of the websites used to determine these rankings. And I currently own shares of General Electric and IBM. So again, this is Brian McKeon from the JMB FLP saying thank you and see you next time for I'm a Whale Watcher.